Let's talk about adding capacitors. Um, it turns out that the capacitors add opposite to resistors. The rules are the same for resistors, only it's just the opposite. Okay. So for example, these guys are in parallel. If you hook up capacitors in parallel, and this is what you do when you want like more capacitance, right? These just simply add up. The total capacitance is just C1 plus C2 plus C3. You just simply add them up. And that's because basically you've electrically connected the sides of these things, right? And so the, the amount of ultimately capacitance is what charge divided by voltage, right? And in this case, your, um, your charge that you're storing on these things, right? Charge is just CV, right? And so the total capacitance is going to be, what, C1? They all have the same voltage across them, right? Because it's a parallel circuit, right? Um, plus uh, C2V plus C3V, right? All divided by V. So the total capacitance would be the total charge divided by the voltage on there, right? Obviously, we can divide by V and just get C1 plus C2 plus C3. And, and the reason that works that way is that these are just basically you're just getting more area, right? Uh, capacitance is what epsilon naught area over D. And essentially we're just sort of connecting this to this and this to this. They just act in parallel. And therefore you can store more charge. They're electrically connected. So it's like tripling the area if they're all the same capacitance. Okay. So very simple. In parallel, this is what you do if you want, if you've got lots of capacitors and you want more capacitance, is you just hook them in parallel.